The clock is nearing midnight for the Chicago Tribune and efforts to prevent a takeover from controversial hedge fund Alden Global Capital. But Chicago Tonight has learned that there are still active talks behind the scenes to come up with a bid that could derail the proposed deal. Many current and former Tribune reporters say they believe that could be the only chance the city has to save the paper. Paris Schutz has the latest on this in Paris. There is a potential new buyer for the Chicago Tribune. Well, not exactly yet, Brandis. What we're told is there are still active talks behind the scenes, discussions uh, to come up with a plan to prevent what you said, Alden Global Capital, from a full takeover of Trib Publishing. And sources confirm to WTTW News that Representatives of some of the city's most noteworthy philanthropic organizations have stepped up in these latest discussions. Now, those organizations include the MacArthur Foundation, that's known for doling out the Genius Grant every year, worth more than 600000 to the recipients. And it says it manages about $7 billion in philanthropic investments around the world. Also, the Pritzker Traubert Foundation, co founded by Chicagoans Penny Pritzker and Brian Traubert. Notably, they are the sister and brother in law of Illinois Governor J.B. Pritzker, and that organization is known for doling out the $10 million Chicago Prize, among other things, to help spur development in disadvantaged communities. We're also told the New York-based Ford Foundation had been involved in recent talks. Now, what those talks entail, that's another story. There is disagreement in the philanthropic community, I'm told, over whether or not to put together a nonprofit group that would act as the majority shareholder in the Tribune. What I'm told is the representatives from these groups do not want to go that route. So more likely what the talks entail uh, is using the deep Rolodexes that they have of investors, of funders, of people with deep pockets that they know to see if someone can emerge out of the ashes as a potential bidder. Now, the leader of any potential rival bid for the Chicago Tribune is Stuart Bainham. He is a Maryland-based hotel magnate, uh, the chief of uh, uh, Choice Hotels out there. He successfully just put together a nonprofit that bought the Baltimore Sun. Now, he recently had a $680 million deal on the table with his co-investor, a billionaire, inv uh, a billionaire Swiss named Hans-Jörg Wies. Now, that deal would have beaten out the $633 million, or it was worth more, obviously, than the $633 million deal that Alden has proposed. But that deal fell apart when Wies pulled out last week. Now, what I'm told by a source close to Bainham is that he is looking for at least one more wealthy private investor, a deep pocketed investor to put a potential bid over the top, which is where some of these civic groups could come into play. Again, it would have to beat out the $633 million proposal that Alden Global Capital has to take over the paper. And earlier today, I spoke with Gary Marks. He's one of two former Tribune investigative reporters who have worked feverishly to find owners for the paper. He told me he's angry. None of the multitude of Chicago business and civic leaders have stepped up. Paris, it's unbelievably frustrating and disappointing, I have to say. I do not understand it. You know, we heard this reason or that reason, but we never heard a great reason for why this great city with these great foundations, philanthropic groups, civic organizations, and deep pocket money people, people who've made huge fortunes based in Chicago, not stepping up to buy the newspaper. And Paris, remind us why there is such a, a rush to prevent Alden from buying the trip. Well, Alden Global Capital Brandis is a hedge fund that is known for buying up other news publications like the Denver Post and really cutting to the bone, cutting staff, cutting resources, and squeezing out whatever profits they can from the remaining entities. Alden right now is Tribune's biggest shareholder. It owns about a third of the seats on the board, so this deal would be to buy out that other two-thirds. The paper has dramatically cut staff under Alden's control. Mark says he fears that a total takeover from Alden will have a devastating impact, no, not only on the paper, but on the city and state at large. Our city and state are in crisis now, and there is an ecosystem of journalism here. There are small not-for-profits that are very good at what they do. There is WBEZ, which is doing a tremendous job at what they do. There are other news outlets that are doing a, a tremendous job. But there is no organization that can replace the Chicago Tribune in terms of being the voice of this city, in terms of holding our leadership accountable.
The Tribune Publishing Board is expected to vote on a deal May 21st. It is supposed to be imminent because there is no other deal unless an 11th hour deal comes through. Now, in the last 20 minutes, we got a statement from the spokesperson for the MacArthur Foundation saying, quote, we are not in talks to buy the Chicago Tribune or the Tribune Company. As a longtime funder of independent journalism and media, we care about news and information and are working to strengthen American democracy by ensuring people remain informed and engaged. Messages to these other foundations as well as to the Tribune board were not returned today. And Brandis, we go back to you. May 21st deadline, Paris. Thank you.